Hi. Welcome to February. For me, February feels actually more like the start of the new year than January 1st does. Actually, it's February 3rd. Let me just check the date. February 3rd today, Monday, February 3rd. Uh, I feel like January feels like the transition month for me where we change from the old new old year to the new year. And come February, I'm much more like, okay, now I'm ready for a new year. So I'm kind of feeling New Year's-ish. Uh, but my one idea for you today is something maybe actually useful for you. A lot of my videos that I've done, um, at least through, through January, probably all of them so far, they tend to be very self-reflective because that's what I do, you know, in my writing, in my communication. I do a lot of self-reflection because uh, I need that uh, and I need an avenue for that <laughs> and I need to get some stuff out. So um, also working through that stuff in, um, in a public way and in a way that I have to show up and talk about it, I, I have found it helpful. So I've been doing more of that reflective stuff in my uh, videos. Um, but today I have something kind of useful maybe for you and, but it is based on my own experience. So this idea, it's out there, you know, in the inter on the internet blogs, Instagram and stuff, what's working for you, you know, what is working for you right now? And I appreciate that sentiment or that idea to, um, kind of, instead of talking about all the things that are difficult or hard, you know, what is working for you? And I have been talking about a lot of difficult and hard stuff. So, A, what is working for me? Something, this is something very practical. Uh, sorry, I'm finding a little distracting while I'm doing this video because I'm watching myself in the um, video screen thing and there's a delay on my lips and it's really distracting. I wonder if I can like close some things. So excuse me as I just, maybe it's because YouTube was open. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Back to this useful thing. One useful thing or what's working for me. One idea what's working for me. Okay. I got an instant pot last year. I feel like it was way back in May and we have been using it. I had been using it through the fall. Um, but in January, I ordered a cookbook, an instant pot cookbook called, I'm going to find it there. I'll leave a link for it. Also, I, um, I took a photo of it. The complete vegan instant pot cookbook. I found this simply through an Amazon search and reading reviews. And um, yeah, so I, I don't know much more about it other than what, you know, the reading the reviews. Uh, and that's how I bought it. And having a cookbook to go along with the tool has been really useful and is really working for us. Not just me, but is working for us. So how meals have been working in our family. I mean, we go through seasons and it, it we change and adjust, but up until rather recently, so last fall, up until last fall, um, there was four cooks in the house. There was myself and my three kids and they would each have a weeknight I would have a weeknight and then there'd be three evenings up for grabs. Often we were at homeschool co-op uh, weekends. We would, I would often cook another meal on the weekends or it just would be fluid. Um, then when Celine went to university, I lost a cook because her schedule is, was way more demanding and she wasn't around as much and I just didn't feel right asking her to participate in that. And things were just kind of like slowly declining in the quality of the food department, in the gathering together. 
which is still fairly important to me, um, that we gather when possible. If we're if we are all here, if we're here, it makes sense to eat together. Um, obviously, if we're out and often around supper time, we're out. Um, not all of us, but we're out on our individual, doing our individual lives. But if we're here, it makes sense to eat together. And when we do eat together, we have a base vegan meal. By that, I mean the the main thing has to be vegan because one of us is vegan. Brianna is vegan. And my husband prefers vegan. And my son, Laurent, doesn't really like meat, doesn't have to be vegan, but he's not a big meat eater. And, you know, we raised the kids basically vegan, and we've only been eating a, um, a non plant based diet for the last four and a half years. And in that time, Brian went back to being vegan, but like went all the way vegan. That's just kind of short, long, short story, long story. Um, point is, our family suppers have to be vegan so that everyone can eat them. And it's the lowest common denominator. It meets the most needs, meets the most people where they're at. Um, and it is really important to me that we have a meal that everyone can eat. And if you want to add stuff to it, you know, to non-veganize it, you can. Um, but, you know, it has to be vegan. So if it's going to be for everybody. And then, of course... People's breakfasts don't have to be vegan. Their lunches can be whatever they want, but our shared suppers, vegan is our baseline. Um, but it was getting difficult. I, I felt like I had lost a cook. I felt like um, we weren't always on top of the cooking thing quite as well, and there was just a lot more frozen things and Costco things, and that has a time and a place, and I appreciate that at certain times, but I, I felt like we could do a little better, especially since we are all very able-bodied people. We all can cook, every one of us, including Damien, and um, as we are moving into a more adults sharing a living space together, that is our goal, to be able to live in community with our adult children, not as them being children under our roof, but um, sharing space in the long, for the long term, if they are willing and interested in doing that with us. So I'm always looking at ways to um, move us along that journey so that it's not like mom in charge of things, telling people what to do, and mom or dad kind of being the people, the adults in charge. Like those things have to shift, that there has to be a handing off. Um, and so all of us contributing to meals is part of that, including my husband, Damien. And he hasn't been in the regular cooking rotation for a few years because of his job. And But we're all getting to the point where we're all busy during the day. So we have to all kind of figure out how to um, cook for um, each other once a week. So this is this was my goal um, that I, I, I did some reflecting in January and I decided that we really could all cook one meal a week, even with our busy schedules, even with Celine's university schedule, my husband's work schedule, the kids study and work schedules and my own schedule. We all could definitely cook one meal a week, and it makes sense for us to take advantage of the fact that we are a community and that we can serve and help each other this way. And this is the, the whole point of community living is that you share resources, you share tasks, you share the burdens as well as the benefits. And... Um, if a person has to cook one meal a week and yet can get fed for five, of course, there's food in the house for every meal, but can like have a homemade supper five nights a week, but only does only cooks one night, that is maximizing the community potential. I was like, it's time. We need to do this. So that's something we have started in January. Um... And we're tweaking the schedule a bit based on people's availability. But everyone in the family, there's five of us, is responsible for cooking supper one night a week. And if you can't cook it that night, then you can prepare it in advance. 
and it can be there uh, to be warmed up. And doesn't mean that we all are able to eat it together because of that part we can't control. Um, this just schedules five adults and semi-adults and young adults all living together. There's just too much variability. But I don't know. I feel like at least three nights a week we are still eating together. Sometimes four. I don't know. It kind of depends. Um, so for to that end, I wanted to get us a another tool that would make this easier. Like the Instant Pot, we already had that. And that is did make things easier, but we weren't really utilizing it as much as we could. And so um, I got us a cookbook and that has really helped. And it seems kind of like, duh, a cookbook. <laughs> I'm always like, if they're in, if the, if, if the recipes are there on the internet, then just search them and find them for free. Like they're there. We, you know, the internet is this huge, vast resource to access. We don't have to have all these books in our house. Like I lean more that way than the, like we have to have everything in the home and have all the books and all that. Um, but having a cookbook handy is, is just easier. It's just easier for certain people in my house, especially for them to um, rise to the challenge of preparing a meal every week that's healthy, um, on budget, um, meets the criteria of being vegan and just all the, the criteria that we're working with. So maybe there's like a double things that are working for me here. There's like the everybody cooking during the week and how that is helping us build the kind of community that we want to live in and using our instant pot and an actual cookbook. Uh, and to that point, if you have an instant pot cookbook that you recommend, please leave a comment because um, I think I will want to be buying some more or at least one more this year just to help us out with that. If you have one that you recommend, that would be great. And um, I will leave a link to it. Also the one that we have. And so that's, that's the thing that's working and it's working pretty good. And I'm happy with this. This is a, this is a progress. This is moving in the direction of our goals and also is having us eat healthier. He yeah, healthier and making it easier for us to gather together to eat. So yay. Uh, that's all for today.